She says, what's the ruling on swearing with other than Allah Azza wa Jal? Swearing with other than Allah is divided into two types. Minor shirk and major shirk. So minor shirk is when you swear by other than Allah Azza wa Jal randomly or not believing that that person you're swearing by can fulfill uh, uh, the things that Allah can fulfill and you don't believe in him as you believe in Allah Azza wa Jal. For example, people swear by Al-Amana. They say, Bil-Amana. Amana alayk. They swear by the Prophet, like in Egypt. They always say, with Nabi. And none of them intend that the Prophet ﷺ is equivalent to Allah, that we can swear by him. But it's something that is random, used on their tongues. This is prohibited. Some in Syria and Jordan and in Lebanon, like Nariman is calling from, they say, Usharaf Abi, Uras Abi, Uras Bayi. All of this is haram. This is minor shirk because they don't believe that they are equivalent to Allah Azza wa Jal, but rather they use this. Now, sometimes a person may believe that the one who he is swearing by is equivalent to Allah. And this is total major shirk. So, and they give, the scholars give an example. If you caught a thief red-handed, uh, uh, red so he says, Wallahi, I didn't steal. So he swears by Allah, he did not steal. So a smart person who knows the, the thief, he says, swear by Al-Badawi, or by Al-Jilani, or by Ali, or by Al-Hussein. And the guy says, oh, no, 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 now it's getting serious. No, I can't. Yeah, I did steal. This is shirk. Why? Because he glorifies them similarly to his glorification of Allah or even more. And this is major uh, uh, shirk and I hope this answers your question.